everyone, Caffeine Man here. Today we are going over the fourth and final flavor of Goat Fuel Season 3, and that flavor is Dragon Pomegranate coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And in today's video, we're going over the fourth and final flavor of the season three Goat Fuel. If you missed any of those videos, go ahead and check my channel. I did all the new Goat Fuel flavors over the last two weeks, so they should be easy to find. If you are looking for my original review on Goat Fuel, going over the ingredients, who came up with the drink, and everything you need to know is in that video right there. Since I gave you all that information in that video right there, as well as tasted every single Goat Fuel there is to taste, except for this one, there's only one thing left to do in this video and that's go ahead let's taste it out and here's the can And a big shout out and thank you goes to Goat Fuel for sending me these drinks. They sent them to me in exchange for an honest review. They've actually sent me all their drinks. They sent me season one, season two, and season three. And am I getting cut off? You can't even see my left hand. What the heck? My goodness. I'm not used to being on this side, you know? Don't want you guys to miss out on all the cans here because I'm blocking them. So, you know, I'm way over there. You can see my hand now, right? Okay, here we go. What was I saying? I was saying a big huge shout out to Goat Fuel. They've sent me all the drinks so far in exchange for an honest review. And I really do appreciate it. Could this be the best one out of season three? I'm not sure, but I definitely know that Dragon Pomegranate, which is Dragon Fruit Pomegranate, are definitely not two of Caffeine Man's preferred flavors. But you never know. Maybe I need to go in with low expectations and maybe I'll be surprised. But let's go ahead. Let's taste out this Dragon Pomegranate. See how surprised prize I get. A little splashy on that one. There we go. We got, what color is that? My goodness, that's, uh, what color is that? I, I, I thought it was going to be red. The can is a dark red, so not sure if that's more of a dragon fruity kind of color. Pomegranate, they're both, depending on what kind of fruit, which dragon fruit it is. The dragon fruits can be kind of a crimson color. Pomegranate, dark red. And I think they were going for like a dark red, but it kind of comes out like a brownish red. And, uh, and it would be hard to get the exact color because they they don't use artificial colors they use natural coloring which is usually from either vegetable juice or fruit juice but some of them also use like beta carotene and turmeric so i'm curious what they used oh they used fruit and vegetable juice they mixed it up a little bit some fruit juice some vegetable juice for coloring let's go ahead let's taste it out come on goat fuel let's finish it strong For your carbonation, you're getting a medium carbonation out of here. For your sweetness, I would also say you're getting a medium sweetness out of here. It's not really as sweet as I would like, and it's really not as sweet as I would think most people would like. I really think they're going more for a natural flavoring, so they so they dial down the sweetness. And for your flavor profile, I'm gonna say it's a medium to high flavor profile. It didn't really hit that high caliber. Uh, it is a little bit lower. And for that flavor, um, I think they kind of gave you a natural pomegranate and dragon fruit flavor. When it comes to dragon fruit, uh, no word of a lie, in one of my videos for the first dragon fruit energy drink that I tried, I bought a dragon fruit, I cut it open, I ate it on camera, and didn't think that it tasted like anything, and people told me I got the wrong dragon fruit. When it comes to pomegranates, I don't typically eat pomegranates. I think I might have had one like a long time ago. Thought that it was okay. But any of the drinks that I've had that have pomegranate in have been hit or miss. And the same thing goes with the dragon fruit drinks. They've been a little hit or miss depending on what the company was and depending on what they were mixing it with. But for me, when it comes to dragon fruit pomegranate, I am not a fan and I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible because, because that's the thing when I do these reviews just because I don't like a flavor doesn't mean it's not a good flavor for that but um I don't really I don't I haven't really had dragon fruit pomegranate drinks on a regular basis or eat those fruits on a regular basis so I can't honestly say what they taste like exactly and if this matches so I'm gonna try and go in again and give you my best take on the flavors that I'm picking up on from the can because people sometimes say the poor messes it up 
Now, from what I know about pomegranates, which isn't very much at all, I do know that they can be a little bit bitter. And the closest fruit that is similar to would be a cranberry flavor. I don't like cranberry at all, but I do know what cranberry tastes like. I did actually have the cranberry Red Bull when it used to exist. And I would say that this flavor, this drink is dominant in the pomegranate flavor. And I do know what dragon fruit tastes like. And I do like dragon fruit when it's combined with other things usually. So I'm going to say that this is light in dragon fruit flavor. I'm actually going to say this is probably like 90% pomegranate with only like a 10% dragon fruit. The dragon fruit is definitely being overpowered by the pomegranate. And I have to say this, I think that all of you who love the Red Bull Cranberry and were upset that they took it off the market and they replaced it with watermelon, I think you're going to be happy with this drink because the truth is there aren't many cranberry energy drinks out there and there's not a lot of pomegranate energy drinks out there so if you're someone who likes cranberry you're someone who likes pomegranate i think you're gonna like this but because it's a strong cranberry flavor i'm actually after i went back in from the can i'm gonna change it i'll put it up there just to officially change it that i think the flavor profile is on the low end of high because they are giving you a solid amount of that pomegranate flavor and even though i don't like the pomegranate flavor not a fan of cranberries i have I've had cranberry juice before and I hate it because it is so strong. The flavor of it is so strong. And that's what I hate about this drink is that it is very accurate to, to pomegranate given the strength of the flavor they're giving you. So let's take a look at the Cafe Man rating chart. Not sure what to put up there. You guys are probably sick of me saying that. I never know what to put up there. I should just stop saying it. Maybe I'll even jump cut it out. Maybe. You wouldn't know if I did, but. But even though I dislike cranberry, I do think they did a solid job with it. And overall, like I said at the beginning of the video, Goldfield has done a solid job with a lot of their flavors and they're pretty accurate to their flavor. So I am actually gonna give this an 8.2 because I think it is accurate to the flavor. I really think that they should have brought down the pomegranate flavor a little bit and gave you a little bit of a better mix of dragon fruit maybe do like a 75 25 bring up that sweetness a little bit too i mean i know you want to go a little bit more natural with it potentially but i think a little more sweetness would be better because you do get a little bit of that bitterness too i forgot to mention that you're getting that strong pomegranate flavor but then that little bit of bitterness too it's just a little bit too much for me i think it might be too much for some other people unless you like bitter drinks like you know your coffees and uh that little bit of like caffeine flavor can be bitter as well i think it's a touch too bitter but I still think they did a solid job at an 8.2. If you haven't checked it out yet by now, I don't know why you haven't, but that is my very first Goat Fuel video. And if by chance you missed any of my top energy drinks, I'll put a playlist right there of all my top 10, top 20 drinks. Stay tuned next week when I have the top 20 of 2023. It's the best out of the best of drinks released in only 2023. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.